What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another PlayStation Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about something very unusual and kind of interesting that I cannot believe is actually in the PS4 user manual. And I wanted to share this with you guys because there is a good chance that you are probably doing this wrong. Now, surprisingly, this has to do with the orientation of how Sony wants you to physically set up your PlayStation console, or more specifically, the method of how you connect your HDMI cable and your power cable to the console and television. And yes, there are instructions for this. Now, according to the Sony official PlayStation user guide, you are never supposed to connect or disconnect an HDMI cable from your console or your TV while the PlayStation is plugged into a power source. And I would assume that this also applies to a monitor or TV as well, even though it doesn't specifically say that. But basically what Sony wants you to do is whenever you're setting up your PlayStation, you're supposed to first connect your HDMI cable to the gaming console and then your TV or monitor. And then afterwards, you're supposed to connect your AC cables to the power source. Now, let's say you're disconnecting your PlayStation. You just do this in the reverse order. So you would first disconnect the AC cables and then disconnect the HDMI cable from your console and your gaming monitor or television. And I would imagine that using a surge protector would make this process much easier because that way you can just switch on and off the power source whenever you're doing this. But when I read this, my initial question was if there's actually any validity to following this procedure, because my assumption was always that HDMI cables are hot pluggable or they're hot swappable, meaning that in theory, you can connect and disconnect them while there is power supply to your device. However, Sony does not want you to do this because in actual practice, there is still a very minimal risk that you could potentially end up damaging your equipment or accidentally frying an HDMI port from what I'm just going to call a bad hot plug. And I would say that the risk of this actually happening is extremely low. But the reason this was put in the user manual was for more of like a CYA than an actual warning from Sony, because everything that I've been reading elsewhere says that it is fairly safe to do this, but there is still that one in 10 million chances that you could potentially damage your device. So in my opinion, I would say that if it's convenient for you, it's probably best to follow Sony's directions in the user manual. But if you don't, I would say that the risk of something bad happening is pretty minimal, so I wouldn't necessarily lose sleep over it. But there you guys have it. I hope that you all found this video somewhat interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.